So you have decided to give sort of justice a try and one of the major issues you're going to come across if you're playing this on PC is how the UI looks on the PC. It is a very mobile game feel. You have like done your research, you have created your character, you are super hyped to get in. Once you get in, you are greeted with this crazy UI. Very mobile feel, looks uh, very clunky. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can overhaul your UI to look a little bit more PC-like and a little bit less painful to look at, especially on PC. So without further ado, let's Let's go straight into how we're gonna do this and then i'm gonna give you a little bit more tips at towards the end so the first thing you want to do when you get in you want to hit your escape and you want to go to settings and over at settings you want to go to the interface tab over here and you should see your customized main interface layout so this is where we're going to do most of our customization from so you can move almost all of these things independently the first thing that i hated most was this skill tree this skill uh icons over here they are way too big for me so i like my icons really slow so you can scale this if you like them big you can make them big i don't know why you want to do that but yeah uh so you want to put this to the minimum which is 75 percent that is the minimum also you want to edit these buttons and then you want to go for a style one style two style three but you also want to put this to be the minimum i i, I found this to be the best possible way for me to make this um window look not that bad now for style 2 and style 3 it's just the layout of the buttons they just change how the button looks on the top nothing changes on the bottom here so style 3 it just changes how the layout looks for for me style 1 kind of looked like really good it didn't take so much space on my screen and i put my buttons to be the minimum and that is it for my skill layout i am done with the skill layout second thing is the hp bar on the bottom it is so big for no reason at all so we're gonna click it as well so this green border over here is where you can uh, mess around with it you cannot uh, drag it outside of that so this is the only place you can put this hp bar so this so this means you want to like play play around with this uh, around this here so for me i like it to be as little as possible and then i'm going to put it completely at the bottom and i'm going to leave it at that now you can scale this a little bit higher if you want to because you need to keep in mind that you're going to have your uh, your combat buffs on the top so you can scale them if you want to see this more clearly but to be honest uh, you can just click the buffs and then you're going to see it re in a really good font so just uh, for me i'm going to put it at 75 put it in the middle of the screen uh, all the way to the bottom you cannot drag it a a any lower so just drag it completely to the bottom so that it's like very well centered like that and then i'm going to save that we do have the port so this is your healing so this is your healing you can set it out the way you want i know a lot of people like it in the middle like this but i don't really like this i like all of my things at the bottom of the screen i'm gonna also put it minimum i'm gonna put it just to the right of the health bar and then you have your intuition so your intuition is what you're gonna be using for exploration and most of the time and also for your main quest and stuff you do not want to put this in the middle of the health like this i had tried it like this but it's gonna it's gonna block out the buffs over here so what i did i put it on the left and also I did disable the display text because I don't want to see this intuition thing. I know this is intuition. It's the only button that looks like this in the entire skill bar. You're not really going to be clicking it as well. On mobile probably you're going to be touching it. But for PC, it's your middle mouse button. So take it, put it on the left like that. Also, I did reduce the transparency a little bit so because it's not something you're going to be using in combat at all. It's only for exploration. So transparency to like 50%. I don't really need. I just want to see the cooldown of it when I want to. So it looks really good like that. Next thing is the chart. The chart is a big one. But, but before we go to the chart, let's talk about this thing over here. So these icons are like for your life skills, like camera, actions, emotes and stuff. For me personally, I never really use these things and there's a way you can get them through the normal menu. So this is, they're just shortcuts and I feel like they just annoy me. So if you like this, you can just scale it down, put it where you want. This one, you're free to put it anywhere you want on the screen. So this is like personal preference. But for me, I decided to uh, disable it completely by putting the transparency all the way to zero and I do not have to worry about that at all if you'd like it and you can also you can even swap it into a horizontal layout and then put it on the bottom here or on the top where you want it you have you have the freedom on this uh widget the way you want but for me uh, my transparency is zero i don't really want don't want to deal with it at all there's better there's ways you can open your camera and stuff other ways and then the chat so the chat is a really important one because you really need to read the chat it's a little bit weird the way it is so for me um I increased the height of this, increased the height, so that's why I can see uh, several charts. And then the width just a little bit, but then I scaled it down to 75, right? Down to 75, 
and then the height just a little bit to look very pc like very pc mmo like now you don't want to put it very low because uh underneath here is your xp bar and it kind of blocks the word and it's can, it can block the chart that is like really low here so you can you, you need to put it a little bit higher so, so leave a little bit of space down there and you're gonna have a nice looking uh chart like that so that looks uh, it's already looking more pc like it's already looking more pc like now this is mainly for healers uh when you target your team member you're gonna have this so you're free to put this anywhere you want uh for me personally i i like it the way it is but i'm gonna scale it down again to 75 and then i'm gonna reduce the transparency a little bit to like 60. uh come on 60 uh, that's my OCD. Uh, 60 is pretty good and then I'm going to leave it like this. I don't really need to uh, worry so much about this because you can always see their HP bars like in PvP and stuff. But for healers, it can be important. But also for healers, you have your party chart on the left. So you can disable this if you want to fully. But I like to have this here. So I put it here. It's a nice place to be. But transparency half. The next thing I'm going to mess around with is the quest bar. It is way too big for no reason. Scale that down as well click that scale that down to 75 and then you can it, it, this is how the party will look and this is how the quest will look it uses the same widget so it is too big the way it was like it's crazy i don't know why that's it's that big for by default so just put it to 75 and then you, if you like uh, some transparency stuff you can mess around with that but for me i should like to see everyone's uh, hp even, even though i'm not a healer but yeah so save that and your party uh, window looks pretty good you can also move this around uh, it's too high sometimes i usually put i like it a little bit lower not that high so around around here should be fine so we're so we're gonna save that one and leave it that there the next thing is these tabs over here so this is your cash shop your event your martial world icons it's very useless to be honest because the shortcuts for this is f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 like that you don't really need this so you don't need to be clicking this just click your f1 f2 and f3 and f4 the cash shop is like f5 just look for the shortcuts for that and then this one is kind of useless to be honest so for me i usually scale this down if you want it just scale it down uh make put it at the top completely you can't make it where the minimap is so maybe at the top there you can reduce the transparency to whatever i want whatever you want personally uh mine it's at zero i don't want to see it at all i just gonna i'm going to be using my shortcuts so i'm going to disable that completely and then when it comes to minimap to be honest the minimap in this game is completely useless you're not really going to be using your minimap for anything you're going to be using your world map and then just do like you are um, auto travel to whatever you want so the minimap uh it's not really that useful however you cannot fully disable this this transparency is set to 20 percent limit so you're you're kind of forced to have that there whether you like it or not so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna scale it down to uh, 75 and then maybe transfer it to like 75 uh or 70 somewhere yeah i should be fine and then save that you're not really gonna be using this so much for anything you just may be looking for the time and things like that and just like that we are actually done this is it and also you want to be on minimum minimal not a uh, classic when you do classic it's gonna uh, put the chart in the middle and it looks super mobile super mobile so you want to be on minimal at all the time so um take that and then you're gonna save the entire layout and now your game is looking a little better so this is now a little bit more pc like a little bit more pc like it doesn't look like mobile anymore and that is it uh, right now you can just click off the video and you are good i have saved you the anguish of looking at a weird clunky ui so that is that now let me give you some bonus tips to make your game like run a little bit more smoothly if you are struggling to run this game so go back to your settings and the first thing you want to look at is for on your graphic settings you want to look at the max on screen player count so in very crowded areas this is going to tank your fps quite a lot especially if you don't have a really good pc you really want to reduce this to as minimum as you want as uh, the second thing is you can disable the hair quality hair effect the fps uh, impact isn't that big but it's something if you are like struggling for fps the next thing is the light and shadow style over here so the next tab if you are struggling for performance you want to go to classic uh, aesthetic not next gen next gen is the new one which looks super good but it can be a little bit heavy on some cpus and also if you are also struggling for performance don't uh, don't activate your ray tracing if you have a good pc you can activate the ray tracing here and it actually looks really good to be honest but for me it's a little bit too heavy for me so mine is off 
and then go to your battle settings so this is a very personal preference like but if you if you find you have that line when you target people and you have a line going from you to your target you can turn that off here uh, also for like healers if you don't want too many lines and stuff you you can also turn off the tab targeting uh, indicator but i don't know why you'd want to do that so it's personal preference you can find these settings here if you are someone who struggles with the motion plans uh, screen shake and stuff you can turn it off here on the battle screen shake intensity under battle you should get it here and also you want to really turn off this there are these three over here so battle close-up display illustration and casting hero skills and the other one for hero skills what this does is they play some uh, animation and also like um play the npc on your screen which kind of disorients what you are doing is really bad especially for pvp pve eh, you can keep it if you want to but uh, it's kind of annoying maybe you'll enjoy it for the first few times you use it but after once you see you and the animation and you've kind of uh, tired with it come over here turn them off and uh thank me later and then the last thing is in regards to your camera mode so you do have your camera mode here over here on perspective you have your fixed 2.5 d view you are free 3d view and then your fpv so fpv is the more action combat this is the one i like more you are moving your camera with your mouse and then you are using your skills and you move with your mouse so this is more action combat like uh, black desert online things like that that's the one i want to use if you don't like that camera mode you're free to choose so settings perspective you can choose any of these you can choose where you just use your mouse to click everything and then you can click your skills if you want to i know there's people who like uh, clicking their skills you can do this your mouse will always be on the screen personally i don't know i don't like that mode i use my uh, action which is fpv is your action you can tick this option to get a wider view especially for bosses which is kind of really helpful to see skills especially if i've been a melee class like me i'm playing the night waker and then you can also click the ignore camera distance this is just personal preference sometimes when you're doing like story quests and stuff it kind of zooms in and things like that so yeah that's uh that's it so yeah that's it for my first quick tips video about sword of justice i have been enjoying the game a lot i am already looking fabulous as you can see i decided to main the night waker in close beta i kind of played numina and i didn't really like it that much although it is like very very strong class but yeah i'll be playing the night waker i look beautiful this game's uh cosmetics are actually insane like you the amount of options you can do is kind of crazy it's really kind of crazy so yeah uh, thanks guys for watching this really quick video i'm gonna be making way more videos for sort of justice probably also where wins meet oh we're kind of getting spoiled for games this month so thanks guys for watching like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys on the next one uh, peace